When you're starting out in filmmaking, just about any tripod with a good fluid head will do the trick. But as your filmmaking setup grows to a more professional level, you will find yourself needing a better, more solid tripod with extra features to handle all of this gear because after all, when you have nearly 15 grand sitting on a tripod, you wanna make sure that that is as secure as possible. I found myself needing a more robust tripod system, but with all the options out there, I really wasn't sure where to start. However, I have been using Manfrotto products for years and really like them, so I got in touch with Manfrotto and asked them what they would suggest based on my needs of weight capacity and functionality with attachments. And they were kind enough to send me this Manfrotto 504X fluid head with the 635 fast carbon fiber tripod legs. And I must say, I have been quite impressed with this tripod. Before, I thought, hey, a tripod's a tripod, I need a fluid head. Head. cool that's all I need but once I got this with all the extra functionality and features it is incredible how much better it makes your filmmaking experience as I go through the features of this tripod let me know what kind of camera rig you have down in the comments and I will let you know if there's a better or perhaps cheaper option based on your filmmaking setup and budget but the first and most important part of any tripod to me is the head and this 504x fluid head is packed with features the 504x head has a maximum payload of 26 and a half pounds which is plenty for a cinema rig like this Sony FX9 a 70 to 200 f.6 lens some extra accessories and this thing isn't even decked out with all you could do to it and there is still plenty of room to spare for a lot of extra equipment on this camera the tilt counterbalance system has four presets from zero pounds to 4.8 9.7 and 14.3 pounds to help you properly balance your setup regardless of the size or weight and this counterbalance system is one of those features that I didn't even know was a thing but it's really cool because with this big camera I have it on the 14.3 setting so essentially when I set it like this, there's some slow movement because it's still pretty heavy, but it's not just gonna slam into place. Whereas if I had this camera on this rig and I went like this, it's just gonna fall forward like that. Now it's set to zero. See that? Kind of scary. You don't want this slamming down and breaking something, but then you dial that up a lot better. And just to compare, we'll take this little rig right here and this is still set on 14 pounds. If I push it forward, what happens, because of the counterbalance, it shoots back up. Same on this way, shoots back to the middle. But four pounds, and you can adjust it to your camera setup, whatever the weight is, the one that best corresponds to that, and that's a really good feature. But now that I know about that feature, it is definitely a must have for a camera setup like this. The pan and tilt fluid drag system has an easily adjustable interface with a large range for fine tuning adjustments as well as a locking mechanism for both the pan and tilt drag systems. So whereas on this tripod head, I do have pan and tilt friction I can change, but there's not really a whole lot of fine tuning you can do and you just lock it there instead of having separate locking systems. Whereas this, it twists a whole lot and you can really get the adjustments just how you want with the separate gear for locking here in the tilt as well as the pan and the same with here this thing spins a lot and you can get the perfect amount of friction you need for your movement and it will help your shots get even smoother which of course is something we almost always want when filmmaking and it comes with your typical tripod handle here which I typically don't even use but I used it on for demonstration purposes here you can hook it up to either side if you're righty or lefty but really I prefer holding the camera and moving it or holding the base of the tripod head if you remove the handle and the cover on the other side you have two 3 8 inch attachment points as well as an additional 3 8 inch attachment point on the front right of the tripod head the fluid heads attached to the tripod legs by a 75 millimeter ball head mount that allows for fast leveling by use of the locking screw on the underside of the mount along with the leveling bubble on the back side of the tripod head. And of course the type of attachment to the tripod is very important and the 504X has a quick release plate system that makes it easy to transfer your camera from one system to another. But something I like about this system is the large release button on the left side that allows me to grip the camera naturally with my right hand while releasing with my left hand to make for simple attachments with my dominant hand. Whereas with my older tripod system, the release is over here, so I have to push down with my right hand. I usually grab the lens with my left, pick it up, then grab the camera body how it's supposed to be. Whereas on this camera, I could just push the button, snap it in, push the button again, snap it out while gripping it where it's supposed to be, not having to change hands. It's a small difference, but to me, it's those little things that make the whole filmmaking process smoother. And now that I'm used to this, I'm kind of like, 
why? And now we move on to the tripod legs, which have a 44 pound load capacity. So really the tripod head is the limiting factor here with that 26 and a half pound capacity. But in all reality, it should be plenty for most situations. The legs are made out of carbon fiber. The legs have three sections with varying locking angles, allowing you to go from a minimum height of 17 and a half inches all the way up to a maximum of 67.3 inches. The leg section has twist lock legs, which seemed a little strange to me at first and took a little while to get used to because I am so used to the three section flip locks. But after using this for a while, I actually really like it now that I'm used to it compared to my typical three section leg locks because when you have these compacted when I first get it out, I have to do one, two, and then do that on the other one. So you have six total adjustments you have to make. However, on this one, what I really like is that you can do everything right here where you grab it. Everything happens in one place. So you grab this, when you first do it, the leg falls out the bottom. So then you set it down and you have all the legs doing the exact same thing. You can loosen them all, let them drop, tighten them, and you're done. And if you wanna raise it even higher, I just hold the middle and I lift the whole thing up and the rest comes out from the top. And now that I'm used to it, I really like that feature of just being able to hold one point. Ease of use, quick setup is a definite plus with this tripod. They're integrating locking angles of 20, 50, and 70 degrees in the legs that with the simple push of your finger allow you to get to those low angles or quickly move back up to a higher angle for whatever shot best suits your needs. And these locking angles allow you to have a stable platform without the need for a spreader. However, you can still get compatible mid-level or ground spreaders if you like that option. And speaking of the ground, the feet have rubber bottoms for a stable grip that also gives you confidence in working on delicate surfaces and they also have integrated spikes that are revealed by removing the rubber fastener that allow you to use the spikes outdoors for a more stable platform when working on soft ground. I've never personally needed to use the spike feature on any of the tripods I've had, but it is nice to know that I do have that feature available. And speaking of available options, the tripod also gives you two more 3 8 inch attachment points, allowing you to use even more accessories, as well as a mounting point for something like a strap if you needed one. And you can carry your gear securely in this nice padded bag that comes along with it. And before I started using this tripod, I was of the mindset of, hey, a tripod is a tripod, I need one that can support some more weight for my heavier equipment. But after using a higher quality product like this, you'll quickly find that all those little extra fine-tuned features can help to smooth out your workflow and can help improve your videos with even more precise movements. And I know that this is an expensive tripod compared to something like this, but keeping in mind that you have a lot of expensive equipment on it and you wanna make sure that it is as stable as possible, it can handle that weight so that you don't throw something like this on a tripod like this and end up breaking something because then you're really gonna regret it. But as I say with other filmmaking equipment, you almost always get what you pay for. And if you go cheap on your support gear, you'll probably end up paying more in the long run, like I have multiple times. Because you'll buy the cheaper gear, quickly realize that it's not meeting all of your needs, and then end up buying the expensive gear as well. And again, let me know down in the comments what your filmmaking rig is like, and I will let you know if there's a less expensive option that will still give you an efficient and quality filmmaking experience as far as tripods go. And if you have any questions about this tripod, let me know. I'll try to answer anything I can, help you out the best I can. Also have a filmmaking group on Facebook. Link below, feel free to check that out if you want more personalized help on your filmmaking journey. If you made it this far, please hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in the next one.